Good morning, everyone. I'm Trisha Hendricks. Thank you for joining us. The Arizona Department of Health Services has just released new numbers on coronavirus cases statewide. Right now, DHS is reporting there are 5,769 confirmed cases and 249 people have died. Those numbers are up from yesterday when there were about 5,400 confirmed cases and 229 deaths. This morning, new national unemployment numbers released showing another 4.4 million workers filing for unemployment in the last week. That brings the total filings to 26 million since the shutdown started in the second half of March. The number of jobs lost erased most of the more than 22 million jobs recovered since the Great Recession. During that financial crisis, the number of jobs lost totaled 8.7 million. Meanwhile, more help could be on the way for struggling small businesses. Members of the House are gearing up to vote on a nearly $500 billion coronavirus b relief bill. That's happening today. This is the same bill the Senate unanimously passed on Tuesday. Most of the money, $400 billion, would go toward replenishing the depleted Paycheck Protection Program and $25 billion would be put toward coronavirus testing. $75 billion would go to hospitals. One of the biggest concerns during the pandemic has been the fear hospitals will be overwhelmed with patients. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey essentially said Wednesday that won't happen. But it's what he didn't say that has a lot of folks in Arizona wondering what's going to happen next. Team 12's Mitch Carr has the details. Governor Ducey said Wednesday that hospitals and surgery centers were OK to resume elective surgeries starting May 1st. But the owners of small businesses like local restaurants, gyms and beauty salons were on the edge of their seats wondering if they'd also get the green light. And they're still wondering. The stay at home order is still in effect. More to follow. If you were expecting Arizona Governor Doug Ducey to throw open the state's economy Wednesday, that didn't happen. He compared his options to a dining room dimmer switch and said he'd slowly add more energy to the economy. I thought this was it and still nothing. Speaking of dim dining rooms, this isn't mood lighting at Saba's Mediterranean Kitchen in North Phoenix. George Shankul's place has been takeout only for a month, and it'll be dark until at least May 1st and possibly beyond. I know he's got a, a lot on his plate right now, but, you know, we're all sitting here starving and, and thinking the same thing. We're like, OK, what next? He doesn't know how long he can hold out. We need to come up with something. We need to move forward. We can't just sit in limbo like this forever. Um, America can't handle it. Arizona can't handle it. Up the road at Mayo Clinic, it's a different story. I do think it's good news. The one thing Governor Ducey did commit to was allowing elective surgeries to start up again on May 1st. That means doctors, nurses, anesthetists, and others who work on things like colonoscopies and knee surgeries can come off of their furloughs and get back to work. We are thankful that the governor is striking that balance between the health care needs of Arizonans that we've set aside for a time and the real needs for our current COVID-19 patients, as well as being cautious to be able to care for any increase in those needs uh, in the future. At this time, Governor Ducey's executive order runs through April 30th. He says he'll continue to monitor data on the coronavirus to decide what happens after that. Mitch Carr. 12 News. Mitch, thank you. It will definitely be interesting to see where things go from here. All right, the Navajo Nation is once again extending its state of emergency and closure of its government. The Navajo Nation is also implementing another weekend curfew starting tomorrow at 8 o'clock. That's tomorrow night. The area has been hit hard by the coronavirus. Just yesterday, the Navajo people and 10 other tribes announcing they're suing the Secretary of Treasury over COVID-19 funding. The tribes say the federal government wants to give $8 billion to more than 200 Alaska Native for-profit corporations, which are owned in part by non-Indian shareholders. Let's take another look at the new totals of coronavirus cases just released by the Arizona Department of Health Services. Right now, DHS is reporting there are 5,769 confirmed cases and 249 people have died. Those numbers are up from yesterday when there were about 5,400 confirmed cases and 229 deaths. Taking a closer look at the numbers here in Maricopa County, according to the County Health Department, there are 2,963 confirmed cases and there are now 115 deaths. 550 people are still in the hospital and 166 in the ICU.
Don't forget, you can always find the latest information surrounding the coronavirus and how it's affecting Arizonans on the 12 News app. It's free to download if you don't already have it. A great resource. Thank you so much for joining us for this latest update. Have a great day and stay safe, Arizona.